Hi there, I'm Will. I'm the buyer for Cotswold Outdoor and I'm here at our head office in Kemble and I'm going to run you through today the 30 inch North Face Rolling Thunder luggage bag. Um, so the Rolling Thunder utilizes the, um, the infamous base camp duffel fabric on the top, uh, which is a 1000D um, fabric with a TPE coating on the top, makes it really burly and durable. This is the same sort of fabric that they use on their expedition duffels. Um, one of which I have one. Um, I've had it since I was 12 and it's really durable and it's still going strong now. On the bottom, you've got a really hard and durable base, um, just protects all of your kit inside, but also gives it a really good strong chassis for your, for your heavy duty handle, but also for the wheels on the bottom. The wheels themselves are really nice and easy to uh, fix if they, they're, they're durable anyways, but if you were to get a, uh, a break in them, um, then they're really easy to remove with an Allen key um, and then replace it with kind of other roller, roller skate style, style wheels. I've never had to do that myself because it has just been really reliable. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I just like the fact that it's really easy to do any kind of field servicing if you, if you need to. So starting from the top or from the front, sorry, you've got a, in the lid, a nice, and large sash pocket there where you can pop some clothes, some soft bits there where they can afford to take a bit of impact because you haven't got any padding there. So um, soft and forgiving stuff in there like jackets or clothing is a really good place to put. On the side, you've got a really nice compartment for any smelly boots or shoes or your dirty clothes. So you've got a totally separate compartment there so again, you can keep it nice and separate from all your clean stuff on the inside. Or if you've got any sharp kits as well, you can put it in there. You've got really nice big YKK zips as well, which are again, lockable, but also just really durable. To open up into the main compartment, you've got internal mesh organization. So two nice big pockets there. And inside, you've got the main body of the compartment where you have the inside of the tub, two nice big compression straps. So again, if you really want to utilize as much space as you can, you can use these to cinch down your soft kit. Um, gives you a whole bunch more uh, usable space to put in any equipment as well in there. You've even got nice little daisy chain loops on the inside. Again, if you wanted to attach things like carabiners or anything like that too, you can do to help with your organization. And what I really like about this, um, certainly in my situation, I live in a, in a flat where I haven't got a huge amount of space when I'm not using this. So what you can do is just simply remove the steel frame on the base and it means that the base can fold down nice and flat. So when you're not using it, you can pop it under a bed or into a, or into a cupboard and it's not gonna take up that much space at all. So features on the outside, you've got two compression straps on the side here where you can cinch it down. And you can also use the buckles as well to cinch it down. You've got a nice small discreet ID pouch as well in here if you wanted to put your return address if it ever gets lost. With a nice row of daisy chain on both sides where the handle is. So again, if you wanted to pop a carabiner onto, you can do. So you can just pop them through here. And what I really like is again, is that you've got two nice big grab handles on either end. So again, offloading it, loading it onto something, dragging it out or carrying it. It's really nice and easy to do. You've got a nice firm base plate, which means it's super easy to stand up. It's not gonna tip over for you. And you've got a nice small, small admin pocket. And within that, you've got a tiny little buckle here where you can attach an additional bag if you wanted to. So you loop that round here. And you can attach your, your smaller day pack if you wanted or anything along those lines onto here as well. So that comes with it. This is an 80 litre capacity um, luggage bag. And if you were to fill it up with 80 litres worth of clothing as well as kit, you'll end up with a very heavy bag. So you need a really durable burly handle to be able to control it so it doesn't go 
all over the place when you're at the airport or when you're in transit. Empty, this weighs four and a half kilos. Um, so that gives you an idea um, in terms of how durable this is, the really durable materials that they're using for it for quite arduous trips. Um, or if you're a regular traveler, again, this is something, I have one of these, um, I've had it for some time now and it's, it's not even showing its age yet. Um, so yeah, really brilliant bit of kit. So I'm a huge advocate of the fabric. It's really reliable, really durable, highly water resistant as well. So again, if it ever finds itself sat on the, sat on the tarmac out in the rain, you can know that your kit has got a good chance of staying dry. Um, and yeah, the, the strong hard plastic base as well just means whatever you've got on the inside is protected um, and whatever surface you put it on, there's nothing that's really gonna get through to, through to your kit or damage your kit. Um, so yeah, I'm very big advocate of this of this bag. Perhaps the only downside to this bag um, is the weight. It's four and a half kilos when it's empty, and to some who want to capitalise on the weight restrictions as much as they want, that might be on the slightly heavier side. But for me personally, it's a compromise I'm willing to make um, because at the end of the day, that weight is there to be, to provide durability and protection from the kit. So I'm happy to make that sacrifice. It's just an absolute beast. I've got one and it's just a monster. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you again soon.